I'm Howard Jacobson. I'm here to receive a doctor, doctorate today, an honorary doctorate, and, and I'm delighted. I'm delighted, not least as the very last place I taught was Wolverhampton. It was a polytechnic then. It's much grander now. It's a university. Whether I'm much grander, I don't know, but I'm certainly much older. So I do like that sense of a kind of sense of return. It's. Uh, I'm not just pleased by it, I'm much more touched by it than I expected I would be. Perhaps that's because of the time that's, the time that's elapsed since I was last here. It's many it's decades, it's more than, more than 30 years. And the fact that my life changed when I, it was the last teaching job that I had. It was the third, I'd, I'd taught at several universities, then I came here, it was the last job I had. And that was because I wrote my first novel while I was here. Some would say I wrote my first novel about being here, but we might skip that. But being here enabled me to get going as a writer. I'd always wanted to be a writer. I hadn't done it, I hadn't got going, and it was at Wolverhampton that I did get going. So I owe it a great debt, and now I owe it another debt. I came in on the train yesterday and I thought I would remember everything. I didn't recognise the station, and once I came out of the station in a taxi, I didn't recognise the town at all. The town has changed a lot. Uh, it was quite run down when I was here. I was here in the, in the 70s, and everywhere was run down in the 70s. And much has happened, and there are lots of apartments in the town. It looks, it looks a much nicer town than it, than it did when, when I was here. But I've not yet had the chance to really get into it and see, you know, what the bars and restaurants and coffee houses are like. The university has obviously changed. I mean, you just feel the university. The university is now, is the town, I, I, I would imagine. And I've just passed buildings saying congratulations to our students. It's a very nice optimistic feel about the university. I'm not saying when I was here the, the, the Polytechnic was pessimistic, but it didn't, it didn't sort of grow to meet the town the way the university now does. It's quite different. People often say to me, do you know, do you, can you give any advice? I, I, I can't give advice to anybody. I haven't lived an intelligent enough life to give advice to anybody. I do think though that, that um, I'm receiving my award with, with arts graduates. Um, I am an arts graduate. This is an arts honorary doctorate. I think this is a very important time for us in the arts because there are many threats to expression, thinking, creativity, art in general, all sorts, of, all sorts of threats. We live in troubled times, we all know that, over-polarised, rather brutal times. But I worry a lot, to the point of obsession really, about the effect of the social media and the internet on us. Because I think it's, lots of people say this, the screen is taking the place of the page. Our concentration, I speak for myself, my own concentration too, concentration is not what it once was. We want to be more quickly agitated and excited. We want to get to the end of a thing before we've even started. Whereas the joy of what we do, the joy of those of us who write books, the joy of reading, the joy of going to the theatre, the joy of listening to a long piece of music, is not to get to the end as quickly as possible, but to love the process. So it's important to us to do what we can about getting our concentration back. And it's important to us too, I think, to fight the the ideas of this thumb up, thumb down culture. I mean, it's not a culture if it's thumb up, thumb down. Everything important in the world is not up here and it's not down there, it's somewhere in between. And there's no emoji for in between. There's no emoji for nuance or subtlety. There's no such, you know, there isn't a nuanced face. We smile or we're miserable, we like or we don't like. And that's very dangerous because everything important, everything important in, in, in life and in thinking and in thought, and this is where the arts help out, is between these two polarised extremes. So the future's ours, really. The future is ours to, to repair 